Sugar production has played a pivotal role in human diets throughout history, serving as a natural sweetener that enhances flavors and elevates culinary experiences. Its historical significance dates back to ancient civilizations, where sugar was revered not only for its taste, but also for its preservative qualities and medicinal uses. Over the centuries, the demand for sugar surged, leading to the establishment of vast plantations and the rise of the sugar industry, which has become one of the most significant agricultural sectors worldwide. Today, sugar is a staple in countless food products, with global consumption reaching staggering levels, reflecting its integral role in modern diets. The sheer scale of the sugar industry is evident in its economic impact, providing livelihoods for millions and influencing trade dynamics across nations. As we delve deeper into the topic, it is essential to explore the intricate process of sugar production, which involves various stages from cultivation to refinement. This complex journey not only highlights the agricultural practices involved, but also sheds light on the environmental and social implications of sugar production. Understanding these facets will provide a comprehensive view of sugar's significance in our lives, setting the stage for a broader discussion on its impact on health and society. In the United States, the primary sources of sugar production are sugar cane and sugar beets, both of which play crucial roles in meeting the nation's sugar needs. Sugar cane, primarily grown in states like Florida, Louisiana, Texas, and Hawaii, contributes approximately 30% of the total sugar supply. This tropical plant thrives in warm, humid climates, requiring ample sunlight and consistent rainfall to flourish. On the other hand, sugar beets account for about 70% of the sugar produced in the U.S. These root vegetables are predominantly cultivated in cooler regions, with states such as Minnesota, North Dakota, Michigan, and Idaho leading in production. Sugar beets prefer temperate climates, where they can benefit from well-drained soil and a growing season that allows for optimal root development. The contrasting climatic requirements of these two crops highlight the diverse agricultural practices across the country. While sugarcane is suited for warmer, tropical environments, sugar beets thrive in cooler, more temperate zones. Together, these sources not only ensure a steady supply of sugar for various applications, but also reflect the adaptability of American agriculture to different climatic conditions, ultimately shaping the landscape of sugar production in the United States. The harvesting process of sugarcane is a critical phase that significantly impacts the quality and yield of the crop. Optimal conditions for sugarcane growth include warm temperatures, abundant sunlight, and sufficient rainfall, typically found in tropical and subtropical regions. Once the cane reaches maturity, which usually occurs about 12 to 18 months after planting, it is time for harvesting. Modern sugarcane harvesting employs advanced machinery, such as specialized harvesters that can efficiently cut, strip, and load the cane in one operation. These machines are designed to minimize damage to the cane and maximize the amount harvested, significantly reducing labor costs and time compared to traditional manual methods. The use of these advanced harvesting machines has revolutionized the sugarcane industry, allowing for faster and more efficient processing. Additionally, Modern harvesting techniques incorporate GPS technology and precision agriculture practices, enabling farmers to optimize their operations further. This efficiency not only enhances productivity, but also ensures that the sugar cane is harvested at the ideal time, preserving its sugar content and quality. As a result, the combination of optimal growth conditions and cutting-edge harvesting technology plays a vital role in the overall success of sugarcane production, contributing to a more sustainable and profitable industry. After harvesting sugarcane, the initial processing steps at the processing plant are crucial for transforming the raw material into sugar. The first stage involves cleaning the harvested cane to remove any dirt, leaves, or impurities. This is typically achieved through a series of washing processes that ensure the cane is free from contaminants before further processing. Once cleaned, the cane is chopped into smaller pieces, facilitating easier handling and extraction of juice. 
The chopped cane is then fed into milling machines, which play a vital role in extracting the juice. These machines crush the cane under high pressure, releasing the sweet juice while separating it from the fibrous material. This juice is then collected for further processing into sugar. An important aspect of sugarcane processing is the eco-friendly recycling of the leftover fiber, known as bagasse. After juice extraction, the bagasse is not discarded. Instead, it is repurposed as a valuable byproduct. Bagasse can be used as a biomass fuel for energy production, providing a sustainable energy source for the processing plant itself. Additionally, it can be utilized in the production of paper, animal feed, and biodegradable products. This recycling process not only minimizes waste, but also enhances the overall sustainability of sugarcane processing, contributing to a more environmentally friendly industry. The purification process of raw sugarcane juice is essential for producing high-quality sugar. It begins with filtering the freshly extracted juice to remove any remaining impurities such as dirt, fibers, and other solid particles. This initial filtration is crucial for ensuring that the juice is as clean as possible before further processing. Following filtration, the juice is heated to a specific temperature, which helps to dissolve any remaining solids and prepares it for the next steps in purification. A key component in this purification process is the addition of milk of lime, which is a calcium hydroxide solution. Milk of lime plays a vital role in stabilizing the juice by neutralizing acidity and promoting the coagulation of impurities. This reaction helps to form larger particles that can be more easily removed from the juice. After the addition of milk of lime, the juice undergoes a sedimentation process, where it is allowed to sit undisturbed for a period of time. During this phase, the coagulated impurities settle at the bottom of the tank, resulting in a clearer liquid above. This clarified juice is then ready for further processing into sugar, ensuring that the final product is of high purity and quality, free from unwanted contaminants. The concentration and crystallization stages of sugar production are critical for transforming clarified sugarcane juice into granulated sugar. After the juice has been purified, it undergoes evaporation to remove excess water, creating a thick syrup known as sugar syrup. This process involves heating the syrup in large evaporators, where water is evaporated under controlled conditions, concentrating the sugar content. As the syrup thickens, it becomes increasingly viscous, setting the stage for the crystallization process. Crystallization is the next key step where sugar molecules begin to form solid crystals. To initiate this process, seed crystals, small sugar crystals introduced into the syrup, play a crucial role. These seed crystals provide a surface for the sugar molecules to attach and grow, promoting uniform crystal formation. As the syrup cools, sugar molecules aggregate around the seed crystals, gradually forming larger sugar crystals. Once the desired crystal size is achieved, the sugar crystals must be separated from the remaining liquid, known as molasses. This separation is typically accomplished using centrifuges, which spin the mixture at high speeds, allowing the heavier sugar crystals to be flung outward while the lighter molasses is expelled. The IEU result is a collection of pure sugar crystals, ready for further processing and packaging, while the molasses can be repurposed for other uses. The final steps of drying and packaging sugar are essential for ensuring the product's quality and shelf life. After the sugar crystals have been separated from molasses, they undergo a drying process to achieve the ideal moisture content, typically around 0.02%. This is crucial because excess moisture can lead to clumping and spoilage. The drying process usually involves passing the sugar through hot air dryers or fluidized bed dryers where warm air circulates around the crystals, effectively removing any remaining moisture while maintaining the integrity of the sugar. Once the sugar has reached the desired moisture level, it moves on to the packaging stage. This process is tailored to meet various consumer needs, ranging from bulk packaging for industrial use to smaller retail size bags for household consumption. Packaging materials are selected to ensure freshness and prevent contamination, 
often incorporating moisture barriers and resealable features for convenience. The efficiency of automated systems in packaging has revolutionized the sugar industry. Modern packaging lines utilize advanced technology, including automated filling, sealing, and labeling machines, which significantly speed up the process while maintaining high accuracy. These systems not only enhance productivity, but also reduce labor costs and minimize human error, ensuring that sugar is packaged quickly and efficiently, ready for distribution to consumers worldwide. In this video, we explored the fascinating journey of sugar production, tracing the process from the cultivation of sugar cane to the final packaged product. We began by discussing the historical significance of sugar as a natural sweetener and its vital role in human diets. We then delved into the primary sources of sugar in the United States, highlighting the contributions of both sugar cane and sugar beets. The video provided an in-depth look at the harvesting process, followed by the initial processing steps, including cleaning, chopping, and juice extraction. We also examined the purification, concentration, and crystallization stages, emphasizing the importance of seed crystals and the separation of sugar from molasses. Finally, we covered the crucial steps of drying and packaging, showcasing how automated systems enhance efficiency in delivering sugar to consumers. We hope you found this overview of sugar production insightful and engaging. If you enjoyed the content, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on related topics. Don't forget to like and share this video with friends and family, and explore our other videos for a deeper understanding of the fascinating world of food production and agriculture. Thank you for watching.